We have had numerous hearings, many subpoenas, lots of data collected in the House. House Intelligence Committee is doing its investigation, the Oversight Committee is doing its, as is the Foreign Affairs Committee. As you know, the Senate report came out, a bipartisan report, basically saying this could have been and should have been prevented, and yet nobody's been held accountable. And if that's the frustrating thing uh, to me is two things. Uh, I feel like we were lied to uh, when we were briefed as Congress immediately after the attack and told that it was just a protest gone bad. Look, I, it's the only Republican in the delegation. I know what a protest looks like. <laughs> they come to my office. I can recognize a protest. <laughs> uh, they don't usually come with AK-47s and uh, rocket propelled grenades. And the next briefing, we actually saw the video from the surveillance cameras on the compound. Anybody who tells you it was a protest gone bad is not telling you the truth. The president knew, according to you know military leaders who said they told him. It's really not good. And we need to two things, do a couple of things, get the truth and not quit till we get the truth. Somebody should be held accountable. And the third thing is, we should make sure that those serving our country in these various capacities are never put in this kind of harm's way again. Uh, you know, they, there's a lot of risk out there. They know it when they go into it, but there should have been a way to prevent this from occurring.